All right, joining us now is Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, who led the bipartisan Codell to Turks and Caicos. Uh, Senator, good to see you. So, um, uh, again, these, I think these bipartisan Codells, uh, the missions that you go on, can have great influence. What kind of response did you get from the Allen Nation, Turks and Caicos? Mm. Well, it, first of all, let me back up to what, and Sean, I appreciate that, but I got to back up to what Secretary Blinken said. Secretary Blinken is an absolute liar, and, and he's the worst secretary we've ever had. He he also took credit for getting Americans out of out of Afghanistan. You know the engagement I had in that. The first American to cross was a team that I was privileged to work with, and we fought the State Department harder than we fought the Taliban to get them out. And, and, and he immediately went and took credit and said his team worked hard to negotiate, and that absolutely did not happen. In fact, they were our biggest hindrance for that. We would have had the, the Americans out three days prior if we would have had the State Department's assistant. But they, ted, they, they told uh, Ambassador Pramajin, who was ambassador of the Chikistan, not to assist us in any way. Uh, and I can assure you in this situation, I started working with the State Department seven weeks ago, and they absolutely was pointless and worthless for us to work mm -hmm. with. They didn't engage until I said I was going to be taking a, uh, a Codell there. And then I started dealing with the assistant secretary. And when she got involved, I will say that they had they they tried to be more of assistants, but they were not helpful at all in trying to get these Americans out. Now, when we met with uh, the uh, premier, which is the elected official in Turks and Caicos, and the governor who is appointed by London, because remember, Turks and Caicos is a London territory. Um, I will say that the meeting didn't go very well, not the way we wanted it to go. We were going there in good faith, trying to find a middle ground. Keep in mind, Sean, that these individuals could have been charged underneath the Customs Act. Mm -hmm. And the Customs Act it exists, exists just for this, when they're moving in or out of customs and they have illegal um, uh, product that may be legal in the country they were come from, but illegal there, that they can be charged underneath the Customs Act instead of the National Act. And they were not willing to move at all off of that. Now, to see this judge take the... the um, stance to which she did take on Brian's case, which I spoke to Brian uh, by phone and by text already today, uh, I, this is a positive move for us. Uh, now, uh, Tyler's case in Virginia, uh, he will be heard from a different judge. He's on a different island, but in Turks and Caicos. And so this was a different court system. We'll hope that that judge looks at what this judge did and and take the same stance. And then that, that'll probably happen with the other four to follow. If we can just take a step back for a moment, I'm, I'm more curious yeah, about yeah. the State Department response um, and why you had to get involved in, in the weeds of this. It's clear that it was a mistake. A couple of bullets were left in the bag. This right. isn't a situation where any, there was any intent to break a law or to harm anybody. So why do you think the State Department was backing away from trying to help? The State Department was said that they had warned Americans on their website that they made a post on travel there, which I informed them who checks the State Department before they travel. I traveled all over the country. It's still yet. And I don't ever check the State Department. I traveled before I was in Congress and I didn't I don't check the State Department to which their response was, that's too bad. Mm. Um, but they, they knew this law was put in place. The, what happened here, Jackie, was two years ago. The Turks and Caicos uh, was having, uh, and they still have, gang violence that's spilling over from Haiti to Turks and Caicos. And so in response, they came back with a really strict gun enforcement law where it's no tolerance for ammunition or a gun. So if you have a, a, if you have a gun with fully loaded mags on the street or you're selling it, it's the same as having, like these Americans had, a very few, most of them just average two or three bullets in their luggage. Mm -hmm. It's a minimum 12-year sentence. So they when so this is an unintended consequence, but this was just started to be enforced in February of this year. Since February, they've averaged one American every three weeks detaining them, and the State Department was not engaging them. In fact, I would encourage you to speak to Brian about it when he gets back and gets settled with his family, mm -hmm. because he will tell you the story too. In fact, the only reason why I got involved is because Ryan Watson, who was the second American that was picked up. He was, um, he was from uh, Oklahoma, or he is from Oklahoma, and then he met Brian, and Brian and Ryan, Brian being, being, from, being from Pennsylvania, became right. friends, and Brian was extremely helpful in telling us what the situation was. But until then, he was just floating. He had been there at that time for almost 60 days and had had no interaction at hardly at all with the State Department. You know, yeah. And so uh, why they don't interact? I, I, I don't know. This is it, it starts from the top. It starts with Secretary Blinken and his ability to lie to the American people and say one thing and do the complete the opposite.
You know, Mark, a major part of their economy is uh, American tourism. If we put out a recommendation not to travel to Turks and Caicos from the State Department, this would all end yep. real quick. But uh, Blinken and Biden aren't willing to do that. Mark Wayne, thank you for doing the good work of uh, Americans who some might think have forgotten, but not in Senator Mark Wayne Mullen's office. We appreciate you telling us the story. Thanks, Sean, Jackie, thanks for having me on. Thank you.